Well, good morning and welcome back to our video updates. We are back a little sooner than we'd planned <laughs> due yeah. to uh, Boris giving us uh, a new announcement yesterday. But uh, also we were, we were saying that we would have uh, another video update uh, just to review how the physical services have been going. And so we were going to do that at the end of September, but it's good to look at that uh, right now. But uh, yes, uh, as Ollie was saying, um, the, the latest announcement from the government, which uh, initially uh, earlier this week looked like mm. it was going to be bad news for meeting at uh, churches. It turns out we're, we're very pleased to announce yeah. <laughs> that uh, churches are not impacted by this. No, we are on the exemption list, which means that we are still able to gather in uh, with, with more than six people in the room. In fact, uh, the um, a spokesperson for the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government, if you can't trust a politician, <laughs> who can you trust, told uh, Premier Christian News, we can, quote, we can confirm that places of worship can stay open for services and communal prayer, as is currently the case. This means they can host more than six people in total. Uh, it does mean that we, are, we still have to have our processes in place. So if you've been at church over the last few weeks, you will know that certainly here at Treadworth, we have a one-way system around the building. You have to follow the arrows. Our chairs are well spaced out. We have no more than a couple of people on each row or a family together. So nobody should be um, around more than six people anyway. And, yeah, that's absolutely right. And at Westgate, uh, all our normal processes are in place. And they, I think they've been working well at yeah. both uh, churches, Ollie. Really good feedback. Great. Mm. I think um, certainly I have been uh, really glad to be back at uh, physical live church. Definitely. <laughs> and mm. uh, if you haven't been able to make that, I hope that you have been picking up the uh, online services. Mm. Um, uh, our apologies for last Sunday evening. Uh, you're getting a, uh, a wrong service. Uh, actually, that was from about three weeks ago. The good news about this is we've got communion this Sunday evening. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> and I think the other good news is I'm surely I've lost weight since uh, that, that <laughs> recording, so you get a um, uh, slightly slimmer version of me this mm -hmm. Sunday evening as we continue in our series on core values yeah. um, and uh, called At the Core. And this uh, Sunday evening, is core value number two being a church that's run by the book so don't forget if you are wanting to come physically to church it really helps if you are uh, you book yourself a seat uh, so if you go to the website kingfisher.org.uk uh, it will all be very evident there what you have to do to book your place or your family's places and, uh, and we'd love to see you here now the first two Sundays back physically were uh, deemed to be um, dress rehearsals, if you like. And so thank you for the feedback that we've had. Uh, I, I know at Westgate we've had uh, feedback as to what works and what doesn't particularly work and so on. If you have any further feedback, please do let us know and we will uh, assess that and feed that into what we're doing. Mm. But I think it's been a really encouraging start in the right direction mm. there. Of course, uh, it goes without saying, so I'll say it, that our evening services are continuing online for the foreseeable future. So everybody should be able to connect with mm. uh, church. Now, talking of connect, uh, one of the great, I oh, see the segue there. Thank <laughs> yes, you. Okay. One of the um, grey areas in all of this is uh, that although churches are able to meet together for, for acts of worship um, and, and prayer, what does that mean for connect groups? Mm. Are they social gatherings? Are they uh, gatherings for the purposes of worship? Well, of course, the answer to that is both. And so the question mm. is, which one holds sway there? Are we allowed to meet together physically uh, in groups of more than six to have mm. connect groups uh, or, or not? Now, I think the jury's still out on that one. Um, we will seek to get um, clarification Definitely. on that. Yeah. Um, I know one or two people seem to think that Ollie and I have a hotline to Boris and <laughs> has Boris written to us yet and told us. Uh, it's devastating to say that he doesn't really know that we exist. No. Um, however, we will try and find out, uh, get some more clarity on that. Until yeah. such time, I think it's 
best to say that we honour this rule of six, mm. and so we sadly need to go back to move it to, to meeting via Zoom. Yeah, I would say. Sure. But do that for now. We will uh, come back to you as soon as we get any mm. more information. Though it probably won't be directly from Boris, but uh, we'll find out somehow. So things are changing still. Uh, as we approach October, we've been saying that from then we are going to stop our online morning services as is and we are going to go to a live stream of what's actually happening at Treadworth. At Treadworth. So um, that is still the plan. So uh, you can join us online. That's not going to stop. But rather than a recorded service, you're going to get a live service. And for Westgate, <laughs> you will get a... Uh, a a recording of the morning talk that will be put onto our YouTube channel on the Monday. So on a Sunday morning, you will have from the beginning of October, you'll have the option of either looking at the live stream from the comfort of your own home for Treadworth mm. or coming along to uh, Treadworth uh, physical service or coming along to the Westgate physical service, which is at 11. And then, of course, as I say, online service at uh, six o'clock in the evening. But we will be back at some point in the next few weeks to give you another update, I'm sure, won't we? I'm sure <laughs> that things will change and progress uh, between now and a few weeks' time. Uh, but the good news is that we can continue meeting together as yeah. church. The really great news, if I could just perhaps end with saying this, is that both at Treadworth and at Westgate, we've seen new folk coming along to church. We've seen people uh, committing their lives to Christ. We've seen people, uh, certainly uh, I know in Westgate, signing up for baptisms. Um, Things are really moving. Momentum is growing. God is on the move. God is on the move. Church is on the move. Yeah. We're into a really great period of, of, of church life, I believe. Oh, so hopefully see a lot of you on Sunday morning. Hopefully be seen by others of you on Sunday morning. Um, do stay safe uh, and do uh, uh, not... Uh, stop meeting together mm. and um, we'll be back for another video update pretty soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>